Now by using multiple pipes, we gain so much void. You can see all the shadows. You want to use round rock versus crushed stone because it doesn't compact. You end up with a lot of void and it moves a lot of water. Now by using multiple pipes, we create more void, more air space than you can get with stone. You start to get, you know, to two inch stone and it's like walking on golf balls. So we like to use this three quarter stone because it's easy on the feet. You can't detect it's there. It has enough void to really, really move water. And this is gonna move a lot of air. So the system dries out quickly. We don't want the system to always be saturated because tree roots love that. If you can dry your trench out, you can keep the tree roots out. There's a section of the pipe removed. The reason why we have a section of the pipe removed, we wanna be able to have a large enough inlet to where if minerals in the water start to build up, these inlets will be compromised if they're smaller and they'll end up plugged. We have basement waterproofers telling us that a customer that needed to be cleaned out and jetted every two months now can go four months because it takes so long for these inlets to become compromised. Now, when you add a second pipe and you run two of these pipes side by side, think about that. Each pipe could have these inlets 50% restricted and you'd still be flowing water like you had a single perfectly good pipe. When a contractor digs a trench wide enough to fit two corrugated pipes, you end up with a better French drain system. The bigger the French drain trench, the faster it's going to dry your yard out and the longer it's gonna last. Now the systems that I see that fail are the systems where they put one pipe in the trench, they don't go too deep, they run it extremely shallow because they're trying to reduce the amount of labor and they're trying to reduce the amount of haul out and they're trying to reduce the amount of stone. Basically, they're not giving you your money's worth. The contractors that are putting in two pipes, not only are they giving you the insurance that if some of these inlets get clogged or plugged or compromised, you're still gonna flow as much water as you would through a perfectly good brand new perforated pipe. Not only is it gonna give you that insurance, but you also have a wide enough trench to circulate more air. Having two pipes, moving more air dries out the yard quicker and you wanna keep the trench dry so you're not growing soil bacteria borne gels and different things that'll clog your pipe. There's many reasons why we run two pipes in a trench. These are just some of them. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.